and we are alive. T minus 18 minutes till midnight. I was going for a good solid 19 as I love prime numbers, but didn't quite make it. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Internet. This is Mr. BPG. Recording and streaming the first episode of Media Schooled, uh, as well as recording new media for My Simpsons Town, as well as an introduction to starting a video editing project on DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and get started. So, as I've said, I go by Mr. BPG. That is a doing business as that I've been working on. For some time, I've been teaching at the Illinois Media School the basics of live broadcasting to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, uh, and also television. Currently, my situation has me set where I would like to begin teaching from home so I can spend more time with Dog's family and save money on the commute. So I thought to get online here and see if anyone tunes in. I'm going to do an impromptu recording, see what the audience is like here, and then I'm going to do it all over again out there on Facebook. So. Here we go. So I've been working for the past few years as a content creator. I am a freelance photographer, writer, director, editor, and video producer. Part-time, I like to study philosophy. I believe that in life, the Search for knowledge should be your number one goal. And as you find that knowledge, you should use it to specialize in something that you have a passion for. And hopefully that passion is something that the universe needs at the moment, as well as something you can get paid for. So, currently, in this order, well, yeah, more or less, are the skills that I use to get paid whenever I'm not working as a mule. So I desire to be a Zen style teacher. In my past I've worked on various video projects or writing projects trying to capture small pieces of the universe one piece at a time. I like finding Zen stories and sharing them with people to make them think deeper about their day. This one here says, a one Zen student said to another, my teacher is the best because he can go days without eating. Then the second student said to them, no, my teacher is the best. He has so much self-control, he can go days without sleeping. The third student said, no, my teacher is so wise that he eats when he's hungry and sleeps when he's tired. And uh, I guess I would say I am definitely the third type of teacher. So, in the past, I've been a producer, director, photographer. I have shot in large format stadiums and a small single client. I do portraits, landscapes, as well as many other types of photography, but those are my two favorites. Uh, I have done some commercials, public service announcements, worked on many music videos. And I've been producing and recording live content for the internet and television since about 2005. This content has been seen across, you know, lots of people. And they have been seen on stations such as PBS, a small WHDT in Florida car channel, the Madison Square Garden Network with the Windy City Bulls, and then music videos on BET. Plus, I like to host a YouTube vlog, as well as create short videos about my pets. 
the uh, video series Hey Human was created to make everyone in my family laugh at the fun world of pets if they could only talk. But again, as a photographer, I mostly work with portraits or landscapes, but I do like to experiment with various types of light photography. I was lucky enough to be out at the Chicago Cubs World Series Parade right at Wrigley Field. That was one great day. To the right is me at the Windy City Bulls running the Jumbotron out in Hoffman Estates. And then to the left is me in my college days experimenting with light. Or as a ghost, I can't remember anymore. I've been around the block. I have traveled. I have seen as much of this country as I can and touch the tips of a couple other. I have a lot more places to go. I started my career out in California. Actually earlier than that I started as a projectionist uh, working for the American Multi Cinema AMC Theaters and there I learned the fine art of loading 35 millimeter film into projectors and presenting them to an audience as well as troubleshooting any mistakes that were made and putting together the final pieces for seamless on-screen projection. The love of cinema brought me out to California where I studied at Columbia College Hollywood. I received a Bachelor of Arts in Writing, Directing, Cinema, and Television. I graduated with honors. I was inducted into the Laurel Society, which is their honor roll society. Uh, since then, or while there, I produced and crewed on over 50 student projects, including music videos and other types of media. Back in my high school days, I was an athlete and a singer. I went to East Aurora High School from 1998 to 2011. Highlight of my career there was working with the East Aurora High School drama team that would go from school to school preaching a message of peace to the uh, youngsters. We'd, uh, we always had great shows. Uh, since 2013, I've been teaching at the Illinois Media School. I've been teaching introductory classes to videography, nonlinear editing, music video creation, recorded television production, live television production, remote broadcasting, as well as new media. So, now I'm going to continue on where I left off producing and teaching, but from a remote location. So, my freelance video producing started in California, where I worked on many different projects. Since then, I've produced, directed, or worked on over 50 shows. That's being generous. I have worked on and produced five short movies, three television commercials, and two music videos. Right now my goal is to continue to be a YouTube content producer, as I will be doing later. My demo can be viewed here, if you're so interested, since it's my video. I'm going to be able to play it and have fun, showing off one of my favorite hats. Let me bring the volume down as I'm borrowing. Quiet on set. For the opening of my intro, I wanted Five, to show myself talking four, to myself about myself. Three. Introductory to what it feels like to be in my state of mind. I don't write my stuff anymore. I just kick it from my head. You know what I'm saying? I can do that. No disrespect. But that's how I am. And then I wanted to do a green screen composition as a way to how you say show off my editing skills. The editing skills never quite worked out that way. But the rest of this is just a video montage set to a song 
with a lot of the various footage I've shot throughout the years. A lot of exciting stuff, a lot of fighting. I remember as a kid I used to play basketball all the time. I always loved playing with action figures and trying to uh, choreograph fight scenes or even make up my own. The video examples come from a wide range of productions that I've been on throughout the years, just developing my skill as a photographer, scheduler, writer, and producer. And so on. So, this is essentially my introduction to new people. One of the best things I've ever gotten at the Illinois Media School was the ability to public speak, in addition to the numerous amounts of connections that I've made. For them, I am always going to be grateful and pass their story on. Hopefully, anyone out here interested in live media, radio, television, new media, might end up at a place like this. It'll be good for you. But in the meantime, right now I want to go into our first lesson. Our first lesson at the media school is an introductory video project with the goal of you being able to introduce yourself to an audience. At this point, I would ask if there are any questions. If there are, you can post in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of late, and I've still got a small audience, so hopefully I can get some people to check in later on. So, in my class, I have to assign letter grades. I don't believe in letter grades. I believe a complex opinion can't be expressed by a letter, but if you want a letter grade, take one letter off for every mistake you made throughout the week. And then, if you make it past Z, just add an extra letter. One of my new media teachers was Zay Frank, and he has a brilliant video about time where he lays out 2,000 or 28,000 or so jelly beans to represent one day in your life. And then points out that when you really break down what you do with your life, most of it's spent just doing remedial stuff. Very little of it is spent actually doing what you want to do, such as reading, taking care of a garden, or just whatever you find to be beautiful. So, I believe if you're going to put your time into anything, you must arrive on time, which means you arrive early so that you can begin as early as possible. If you arrive on time, you're already late. Take a point off. And if you're going to be late, just don't be late, because there's way too much to get done in a single day, depending on which path we take. For your introductory video, you're going to have to learn about how to handle modern video equipment and digital editing equipment, and how to apply what you learn towards the future with different equipment. So, anyways, moving on. Uh, when I have to grade, I'm usually looking for if you're able to complete assignment before deadline. What is the quality of audio and video recording that you did? How is your performance as far as expression and vocal quality? As well as, were you a team player? Are you able to communicate? As well as, get your job done through execution. And then your final product. Are there any obvious errors, or how attentive are you to the details of what you're recording? There is some sins that cannot be done, such as being out of focus. So, you must never be out of focus. And you will find, as I continue on these lessons, I am a big fan of memes. So uh, making flashcards to reread chapters and utilizing office hours, that's the small brain. And that's what I did when I wrote out my slides here. I'm still on number one, introduce slides, create new media, which I'm getting to, and then record the game we're all going to eventually check out and be edited down into its own video. 
the bigger brain would be studying at least a week in advance, meaning I would have planned this out a week ago, which I did. You'd be surprised at, and I'll show you a little bit behind the scenes, at how much work goes in to setting up a live stream from a home computer. Hello, everybody. So, your introductory project should be a short video you can use, what we call a demo in the business, to present either your service that you provide or you yourself as who you are. Eventually, your work will present itself for you. Uh, for me, this is a continual process. Uh, pictured here is me on site setting up a remote commercial and short documentary recording for the ETI School of Skilled Trade. Uh, here we have a lot of examples of students learning on the job from the media school and then taking freelance paid jobs in the field post school. So we're going to have to pause here on the slides and I'm going to go on to the video recording portion of the record of the live stream. So here we go. Based on the live stream I've been able to set up, I can do a screen capture of my Simpsons town here. Uh, I go by BG one and only. That is a user I created up for my initials. I'm the one and only of the BPG era. I am part of a cloning experiment where we started with the letter A, and then by the time we got to the letter Z, we had the double up. Then we got to ZZ and we doubled up, and now we're up to BPG. So I'm the best one so far. Uh, here in Simpsons Tapped Out, you are able to create a virtual town inside of a virtual world that can be played on a computer and or telephone, smartphone. And I love uh, showing off my town for various reasons. Usually I like to tell a story. The first story I showed how Starting off at your hometown, you have a choice to go left to the neighbors who have a tree full of money, to go right to the Buddhist temple with a flower heart on the ground, or to go north towards the church which has an angel bowing before a fire with, I guess, a dinosaur and Hans Molman. So we're going to send Hans Molman to go record everything that goes on in here. He's going to make a short film. He's going to have to work 24 hours a day recording his life and everything around him. And essentially what that feels like is just getting hit in the nuts with a football, I guess. Damn. <laughs> I didn't realize that before. Uh, let's see. But if you continue on one path, if you choose the church path, you may find yourself in a daycare and eventually a school, eventually a high school. And then possibly into sports, as I started, and then eventually into media, where we have the choice of producing a television show, radio show, or movie. But not really. The movie just happens. So in eight hours, we'll receive $150 for the movie that will happen. But if we're going to broadcast a television show, well, we can spend $400 for a one-hour show. We can spend $1,500 for a live report. Another fifteen hundred for a regular program, thirty-five hundred for worldwide news, a little bit less for Channel Six because Ken Brockman doesn't as much. But Channel Ocho, they're bringing it in at five thousand. Or we can do six days a week and do a sports show for nineteen thousand. That's how much it's going to cost over here. So we're going to go ahead and set up a six-day-a-week sports show. Anyone want to do one of those with me? That sure could be fun. As far as a radio show. Well, we can listen to Birch Barlow on the air for $300 of payout for 125 investment. Bill and Marty, <laughs> forget the Spanish radio, sports and the hits. Let's just listen to the classics. List the classics. And then here we are 
onto either the farm, grocery store, or find out where that monorail is going. Or perhaps we went the other way. Back home for some money. And this we went to the neighbor's house, where we found Grandpa. Right next to a Krusty Burger in a gas station. Now? Is that dinosaur again? I'm getting out of here. Well, if we decided to go to the Buddhist temple, then we had a volleyball court right next to the fort. Where. Oh, shoot. Can't remember his name now. There we go. Herman is going to continue to train for battle at the fort. Here I have Mr. Burns' mansion protected by a squid tree. At the Mafia compound, they have a uh, Mafia wife working on our tan, I guess. And then two houses. And then down at the famous Squid Port, I have a pitchfork shaped area where there are performers. I'll have plenty of money when my lawsuit pays Yo, it's including me. Bart from the future. No problem, I'll just mooch some green off my folks. Ouch. Down here we have the CD Motel. That's right next to a bar called Shot Pickers and the uh, Classy Girl Strip Club. Over in the distance is a very elaborate prison. Once you go in here, it's very hard to get out. Where we have uh, the ruler who decides over the world and puts you in either one of two houses. And the only way out through this complicated maze. You never know what you might find in the maze. So you must be careful. And then we come across the Door of Souls. Here at the Door of Souls, you must pass through and relinquish your soul to Klosko, the corporate master of this town, which is able to oversee everything from the center of this maze, including the prisons, the old town district where there's a bank, town hall, courthouse, and jail, including library, doctor's office, hospital, Hibbard's money-making organization, and a pharmacy. But if you choose not to go into the soul's door, you can always just get lost in the maze again. There's a guillotine there. Not a guillotine, that's the rack. I'll go away from that. Oh, it's okay to find this is there. Oh, I'll go this way. Nope, that's a dead end too. Part of the fun I found in this game was giving myself a project. I would play it regularly when I couldn't sleep. When I was in, you could say, uncomfortable situations. Here when you enter the escalator to the nowhere, you just pop right back up. So you can drop right back down. Hey yo! That reminds me, ring that YouTube bell if you like watching this show. Give me a check out of uh, Mr. BPG. I'm posting all kinds of fun videos. I'm also on Instagram. I like to take pictures. Pictures of nature. Pictures of life. My photos... I find sometimes make people happy. I find I have a way of capturing an image in just the right way. Maybe I'm wrong. You'll let me know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Now it's time for me to take this footage and return to the editing bay where I will take this digital footage 
add it into my foot, add it into my folder, and begin the editing process. If you are interested in nonlinear editing, uh, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know, and I will begin working on the nonlinear editing slideshow. If not, I'll figure out something to do. Thanks for watching. Good night, Internet.